If you see pictures of me just a few years ago, you'll notice my hair was pinned straight and blowing in the wind. That meant straightening my hair for hours on end with products and hot tools that my hair did not appreciate. Today, there's a movement for women who are tired of faking what they weren't born with, and Phaedra High is one of the leaders making it happen. Her group, Colorado Urban Naturals, empowers and educates women to own their style and fly free with the hair they were born with. So, first of all, thank you for being one of the people that make it okay and actually empowering to, you know, kind of live for your own, live with the hair you were given. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thanks for having me. I'm excited to share more about the movement here in Colorado and what the trends are nationally out these days. Yeah, so I remember it being a really hard transition for me, and you would think it would be easy to just live with the hair you were born with, but I didn't really know. My mom had been straightening my hair my entire life, and I didn't know how to manage curly hair. Mm -hmm. So when I first started, I just looked, I looked horrible, and I realized that, you know, people that are looking for, you know, tips and trying to figure out what they can do to start taking care of their hair naturally, they go straight to you. I meet a lot of people that have already met you. <laughs> that, is, that is so funny. I, I mean, I'm a good person for tips, but as far as styling and things like that, I'm always referring to other people that do it better yeah. than me. I can always do it good on myself, but that's what it's all about, you know, not only with your natural hair, but being able to make moves to yourself at the very basic level, too. So Yeah, you're a resource. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to people who, you know, just came to... Um, dry Colorado, they want to figure out what to do, you know, where do you first, how do you start thinking of ways to um, address their concerns? Where do you send them? I actually tell them drink as much water as you can, because again, like you mentioned, dry Colorado, mm -hmm. it's skin, hair, everything just dries out here. Yes. Should buy stock and lotion too, but that's <laughs> only, so we can only do so much. So water, hydrate as much as possible, and then Good um, oils like coconut oil, and then we also use Haitian black castor or Jamaican black castor oil mm -hmm. for thicker textures to keep them hydrated along um, with the water throughout the summer, too. To take care of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just the whole technique or routine, all of that. Yeah. So what kind of things, what kind of other things does um, Colorado Urban Naturals do to really, you know, commit to helping women and um, you know, directing people to find those resources? Well, we do um, workshops and events around the metro area uh, to include the Denver Natural Hair Care Expo, which is November 5th this year. Okay. We're excited to include a lot more educational workshops and demos that demonstrate one-on-one um, -on -one hairstyles, uh, various moisture, moisturizing techniques, um, even uh, styles and fashion shows uh, this year, too. We were celebrating various textures, styles, and formats of natural hair. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, so how do you guys connect to, the, there? I mean, there's a serious national movement for all of this. How do you connect to that and, you know, kind of stay, I don't know if there's like, you know, like a big group that's, that's kind of coordinating, or is it just that you're kind of um, just associating with, something that's become a cultural phenomenon right now, in my opinion. It's a little bit of both. Um, yeah. I got my feet wet with, with Malika Cooper out of Baltimore, mm -hmm. who runs the Natural Hair Care Expo um, tour that she that started in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, four years ago, we did the first Denver Natural Hair Care Expo, which was is one of its biggest of its kind since we've done it. And now that we're approaching four years, we're expanding and bringing more interest to Colorado because there's a lot of flocking here and it's very diverse. So we want to be open to um, educating people on how to take care of their hair in this climate as well as skin care too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who are some of the biggest players in the national movement? Um, I would say I don't know a whole lot of names right now. Mm -hmm. Um, being that I haven't been keeping up as much as we've been kind of moving into the cannabis and hemp exposure and how to use those products in your natural hair care. Okay. Um, I so, heard of that. Yeah, it's really exciting to see how the movement is um, in other places underground that people yeah. have been making um, hemp-based and cannabis-based products for 
years that help with skin and hair care treatment. So oh. as we're moving, we're kind of being that we're here naturally in Colorado, we're moving into that area as well mm -hmm. so that we are educating people on how to do home based products for mm -hmm. all types of things. So nice. So what do you think is the most important thing for um, naturals, you know, I'll call it the naturals, um, you know, what is the biggest thing that we should know about our hair and to, you know, what is the biggest thing that we can start doing right now to take ownership of, you know, who we are and stop feeling like we need to flatten it out and mm -hmm. hide what it really, you know, how, how everything really grows. Right. I would say it starts from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Feeling confident in who you are naturally is always the beginning, the foundation of any type of uh, style, any type of statement, yeah. things like that. So if you start from the inside and know that it's about mind, body, and soul, then the outside will start to go along with it. That's when you um, include nutrition and diet into it. Yeah. It's more than just a product. So it's your attitude, it's you're taking care of yourself and exercising on a regular basis and just... You know, just staying positive on the positive side of things when it comes to loving who you are naturally. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. That's what it, I mean. For me, it was just, I mean, part of it was also just being patient mm -hmm. with myself that as too. I did things that, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and when people said funny things like, oh, your hair is frizzy. I'm like, okay, That's it. I'm working at it. <laughs> I can use all types of products to try to lay it down, but it just we're all individuals when yes. it comes to that. So just being patient and understanding mm -hmm. that not everything's going to work for you. Just find what yeah. works and go along with it. Yeah, being confident mm -hmm. that this is who, you know, this is who I am. And, you know, I can still straighten my hair here and there. It's still fun to mm -hmm. see that different look. But, mm -hmm. you know, I can still live in every day, you right. know, with this hair and feel like it's beautiful too. Exactly. Which it is. I love your curls. <laughs> Thank <Awesome>. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thanks so much, Phaedra, for sharing and, you know, really being a confident boost. You're like a confidence booster for people who, you know, really want to learn to live in their own skin. Well, thank you. And thanks for having me. This was an exciting interview to do. So thanks for having me and empowering me as a part of your community and in the Denver. Thank you. Mm -hmm.